Hey pretties and welcome back to my channel. As for tuning into this video today, I'm just gonna be doing a um kind of like a tutorial on how I got these locks. And it wasn't hard at all. You don't need a crochet needle. I'm telling you, like it was really easy. If you guys would like to know how I got this look, make sure to stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave any questions you have in the description box. And we're just going to get on started and go ahead and show y'all what I got from the store. Um, started off with the hair. And so, I got this African Nola Trust. That's what it says. It's just this Afro Twist braiding hair because I seen a tutorial and she has some thick hair like this. So, I got the six pack. And it's supposed to have a lot in here, so. And this is from the Janet Collection in the color one, cause I do dye my hair jet black. And it's 80 inches, so these gonna be long. Some um, water wave twisting hair, kinda. In the three pack, I picked up two of these and then a single one as well, um, just in case if I run out in the color one. This is just what it looks like. Okay, um, shining jam and some hair moisturizer. Just cause my, I don't want my hair to be dry and I need to twist it cause this is a protective style. So honestly, I'm not gonna be parting super neat. It's because it's supposed to look messy. Like I don't like natural and effortless. Um, that's the look I'm going for. But once I get to the top of my head, I'm gonna start parting neater hair. So I'm just gonna get started and then show you guys my process and how I'm gonna complete this look. So if you're interested, make sure to stay tuned. piece of the hair and then braid it once you do have it braided I'm gonna take one of your crochets and like mess it up kind of I'm gonna take the section or the piece of hair and you wanna hold it like this, putting those small end right here. And you wanna hold it and put it on the braid like this. And then you just wanna begin wrapping. And you do wanna wrap over the root a couple times just to make sure it's nice and tight. Hold on. Throughout the braid, what I'm doing to make it messy is I'm just putting my thumb right here and then just wrapping around it while I'm letting a piece of hair catch on my thumb and then just keep wrapping just like this. Then when I let it go, it'll create the loop, which is giving the lock the messy type of look. You just wanna keep doing that randomly as you go down and then just keep twisting.
game plan. And I'm out here with the whoop. 700, three out fives, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh, well, fuck them, dawg. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. We up on the other side, niggas at the and then I do have some leftovers, so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it and then just bring some of it like this just to lock it in. If it's a little extra piece like this, like this is a little too much, just cut that off. And yeah, y'all, you got your first one not too bad my first is him okay so i'm just gonna repeat this stuff on the rest of the sections that i made and then i'm gonna come back to y'all when the back is done okay y'all so i'm back and i finished this back section and then these are just what they're looking like super cute and distressed um these are what the ends are looking like so yeah I'm just going to continue this for the next um, couple sections. I say I'm going to do the um, back half of my head and then come back and show you guys what they look like. I do like how they're turning out. They are cute. And I'm going to come back and show you guys what it's looking like uh, when I get halfway through. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I finished this part of my hair and I'm just gonna get started on this side um so yeah I just wanted to come update you guys on how it's going how it's looking and yeah so far so good I'm not doing them super small I'm doing them kind of like medium medium size so. I'm trying to see like do I want them longer cuz some of them are short just because I'm trying to keep them consistent, but you know, it can be kind of hard.
Okay, you guys, so I'm back with an update. Um, a little close up on the parts. Let me do a 360. gonna get cute so I can show you guys the final look but I'm finally done I'm about to do my edges right now and I figure I come back and show you guys me doing my edges since that is part of the look um I'm just gonna take some edge booster and just swoop I kind of want dramatic swoop so that's what I'm going for
Okay, you guys, my camera cut off because it said I ran out of space. So I just finished my um, little baby hairs off camera. How the finished hair looks. Very pretty. I'm gonna do a 360 for y'all. Um, they are very full. They're not too heavy at all. Like, they're not heavy. I actually do love them. Um, of course, they could be better, but it's my first time doing these, so, you know. They do look good, though. Like, they look really cute. I'm gonna try to keep these in for at least, like, three weeks to a month. But I can't keep your hairstyling for nothing, so we're gonna see. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in, and I love you. Make sure to subscribe to join the family. If you guys want any other hair videos, make sure to let me know. I want to start doing hair videos. So, if you guys have any recommendations, I could do anything. Um, if you have any questions, check the description box, and then you can comment any questions you have, and I'll reply. And again, thank you all for watching. Bye.